Welcome back to my channel, I'm Mili and today I'm going to talk to you about our experience raising our child bilingual. But first, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos related to motherhood and lifestyle. I upload new videos every week. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to talk to you about our experience with, with our daughter Olivia. She is two and a half. And we are living in the US. I'm Peruvian. My mother tongue is Spanish. My husband is American. He speaks English. So we are raising her bilingual. Uh, and we are using uh, the method one person, one language. And this method basically means that uh, each parent talks to the child in their own language. I speak to Olivia only in Spanish all the time. And my husband speaks to her in English all the time. And I like this method because kids from very early on, they can be exposed to both languages or more than two. So they can end up being fully bilingual. And it's really important to be consistent. Um, I speak to her in Spanish all the time. It's really important because you shouldn't mix both languages. And also in this method, uh, it would be better too if in the household we speak the minority language, in our case it's Spanish. It would be better if we, my husband and I communicate in Spanish uh, in front of her. But my husband um, has very basic Spanish. He's learning a lot, but his level is not uh, as good. He cannot carry a fluid conversation yet. So that's why we both communicate in English. But it would be ideal for her to be exposed in the household with Spanish too, which is the minority language. But it's okay. I, uh, right now she's not going to school yet. She has spent most of her time with me at home, so I speak to her in Spanish all the time. When we watch TV or videos, uh, I try to, as much as I can, put uh, videos in Spanish for her. I read to her in Spanish and show her um, books or stories uh, as much as I can in Spanish. She now uh, knows both colors and numbers in both languages. She um, she knows many words in both languages. She says words and phrases. She understands fully in Spanish. When I talk to her, she understands when my husband speaks to her in English, my husband and his family. She understands both languages. And she's not speaking that much yet. And that's completely normal too. When kids are raised bilingual, sometimes they take a little longer to speak. That's completely normal. Of course, all kids are different. Some kids would start speaking sooner, but it's normal to take a little more to separate both languages. Uh, sometimes they are two years old, two and a half, even three years old when they start speaking fully. But it's fine. They are going to be able to separate both languages and be fully bilingual by that time. And also uh, the community language that in our case is English, the school and the community in general, if, if we are in the community, it, for example, if we are on a play date or we are at the grocery store or something like that, it's okay if I speak in English and I speak to her in English too, because as I said, it's a community language. It's not going to confuse your child. Many people can think that maybe it's going to be confusing because supposedly I speak to her in my mother tongue, but it's fine. Uh, they are going to be able to... Uh, know the context we are in and they are going to be able to understand that there is a place and a time for uh, when we speak the language. So it's completely fine. So yeah, I really like this method. It's working well for us so far. As I said, she's not going to school yet. She's going to preschool next year. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's going to be fine. But uh, in the meantime, she's with me all the time. So I want to take advantage of that and expose her to Spanish as much as I can because I'm the only one who can speak Spanish to her uh, where we live. Um, sometimes we Skype with my family and she speaks Span they speak Spanish to her too. So that's important too. So as I said, it's really important to be consistent that each parent talk to the child in their own language at all times. That's really important not to mix both languages so it's going to be easier for them to separate the, the two. And also this method shouldn't be that strict. 
can be adjusted to every situation. For example, in our case, we are raising her uh, bilingual, teaching her two languages. Some families, maybe they have uh, more than two, three, or even more languages in the household, and they can apply this method too, adjusting it to uh, their own needs. Yeah, if you are thinking of raising your children bilingual, I totally encourage you to do it because I think it's one of the greatest gifts we can give to our kids uh, to be bilingual. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you're raising your kids bilingual, uh, tell me about your experience, which method are you using? If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. So if you want me to do more videos related to this, let me know, I'll be happy to do it. So I hope you like this video, I hope you find it helpful, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!